Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. So I'm here to spill some damn tea, okay? I've been really busy dealing with a lot of business stuff, but I had to come on here and, you know what I'm saying, post some stories, okay? So last night on Instagram, we were talking about the whole Gina Rodriguez situation. Everybody kept sending me this story. Folks want to know my opinion. If you guys do not know what's going down, Gina Rodriguez, she starred in Jane the Virgin. And so the other day she was getting her hair and makeup done and she was singing Lauryn Hill song. And in that she sung the lyrics, frontin' niggas give me heebie-jeebies, okay? Only she really didn't even say front. She was just like, niggas give me heebie-jeebies. Either way, hell, front niggas give me heebie-jeebies too, bitch. Okay? So, of course, once this was posted on social media, she caught a lot of backlash. People were mad. They're like, hold up, who does this, you know, uh, Puerto Rican girl think she is? You're not allowed to use the N-word. Folks started dragging her, okay? So much so that she issued an apology. So she took to social media to cry, you know, tattoo tears and apologize. So I want you guys to go ahead and check out her video. Check out her first apology. Check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Me. Niggas give me heebie-jeebies. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? I just wanted to reach out and apologize. I am sorry. I am sorry if I offended anyone by singing along to the Fugees, to a song I love that I grew up on. I love Lauryn Hill. And um, I really am sorry if I offended you. I'm gonna right. keep it quiet. I'm gonna keep it real. <laughs> Not this time. Gina Rodriguez is trending for all the wrong reasons. Voodoo. I could do what you do. The 35 year old actress was getting glammed while singing Ready or Not by the Fugees and dropped the N word. Believe me. Give me heebie-jeebies. Gina sparked outrage and Twitter immediately called her out. The actress has since deleted the video and apologized on Instagram. I am sorry. I am sorry if I offended anyone by singing along to the Fugees, to a song I love that I grew up on. I love Lauryn Hill. And um, I really am sorry if I offended you. This isn't the first time Gina has been accused of being anti-black. During a roundtable for Netta Porter last year, Rodriguez said this about equal pay. Black women get paid more than Asian women. Asian women get paid more than Latino women. That comment caused controversy, and the actress emotionally apologized on Sway in the Morning. If anything, the black community is my community. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when I speak about Latino advocacy, people believe I mean only people my skin color. Mm -hmm. And little do they know that I'm very aware of what my culture is. Oh. I know my intention. The last thing I want to do is put two underrepresented groups against each other. Honey. All right, so you guys just heard that apology. So, of course, for many on social media, that was not enough. They wanted her head on a silver platter. They were like, what do you mean, if we're offended? Stupid, we are offended. Stupid. So then at that point, she had to write a long, sore dissertation, once again, going into detail and really explaining her apology. So I'm going to go ahead and read that to you guys. Go ahead and check this out. So Gina says, in song or in real life, the words that I spoke should not have been spoken. I grew up loving the Fugees and Lauryn Hill. I thoughtlessly sang a song to the lyrics of a favorite song and even worse, I posted it. The words I sang carries with it a legacy of hurt and pain that I cannot imagine. Whatever consequences I face for my action today, none will be more hurtful than the personal remorse that I feel. Watching my own video play back at me has me shaken to my core. It is humiliating that this has to be a public lesson, but it is needed and a much deserved lesson. I feel so deeply protective and responsible to the community of color, but I have let this community down. I have some serious learning and growing to do, and I'm so deeply sorry for the pain that I have caused. After that, she turned off her comments to her apology. So anyways, that is her apology. And so like I said yesterday on um, Instagram, I said, well, I'm confused, okay? I'm confused, fake woke social media, because just a few weeks ago, y'all were begging me to talk about the Fat Joe situation. I chose not to talk about it because I don't give a damn about that topic and I do not agree that Fat Joe is, you know, black, like 100% black, okay? 
Fat Joe was getting praised all over social media for acknowledging his African heritage after Remy Ma said it was okay for him to say the word nigga. And a lot of people were coming at Remy Ma like, no, it's not okay for Fat Joe to say it. But Remy Ma and many others were like, no, he's black. He's black. Puerto Ricans are black. If you grew up in New York, you can say the word nigga, okay? So this is the mentality a lot of people, especially people in New York, have. Now... Even when I caught out the whole 6 9 situation, like, why is this Mexican kid running around constantly using the word nigga? Y'all still didn't do nothing. Nick, nigga say Takashi ain't outside, boy. I'm outside, nigga. Look, 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 look right here, right? You still ain't come see me. Nigga try to shoot at me in the hood. Way before this shit. I'm still in the hood, nigga. And everybody was telling me to shut the fuck up. He can say nigga. He grew up in the hood. He's around black folks. If the black folks he's around don't have a problem with it, why do you care? So I left it alone. I said, at this point, I don't give a damn who says nigga, okay? I just, I just, I don't care because people like Ice Cube and NWA, they put this into the American lexicon, okay? At this point, y'all had made it so cool and hip. You'd be stupid to think that people of other races, white, Asian, Latino, are sitting here saying N-word instead of nigga when they're rapping to songs, okay? You'd be dumb as hell and naive as hell if you really think that. Now, I'm not really buying her apology as much. And honestly, she's only apologizing to save her own ass, okay? Because somebody sent me a video of her doing a YouTube skit a few years ago. This was seven years ago. And in there, she had no problem using the word nigga. So y'all go ahead and check this out. Hey, calm down. Did you, did you just say calm down? Take a lap. What? You heard me. I said take a lap, nigga. Take a lap. Come on, baby. Take a all right, so you guys just saw the video of Gina Rodriguez, you know what I'm saying, using the word nigga in a skit. So again, this whole situation just goes back to a lot of confusion. Half of the black community loves to claim anybody under the sun. You could have literally a drop of black in you and black folks will fight tooth and nail to say that you're black, you're just like, you know, full black people, okay? Then you have other people who are like, no, I'm not a one dropper. I don't believe that at all. That's where I stand, okay? I feel like if you are biracial, you are biracial. Now, if you see yourself as black, you can see yourself as black. I will see you as biracial, okay? I've, that's always been my stance, including former President Barack Obama. I consider him biracial, okay? What's even crazier is a lot of people consider Fat Joe, the terror squad, and most of these, you know, Latin men to be black. You know what I'm saying? Especially if they're, if they're immersed in hip hop, if they have like a hood persona, a ghetto or a ratchet persona, they're automatically seen as, oh, they're black too. But then if they act more European or look more Eurocentric, even though they're the same race as a, as a fat Joe, um, then they say, oh no, they're not, you know, they're not allowed to use it. And this was a really funny skit that Blackish put together on what type of Latinos can use the N-word. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Can't say the N-word, mm. but Dominicans are okay? Exactly. Puerto Ricans are cool too. Unless you're a J Lo Puerto Rican. As opposed to a Rosie Perez. Look at the oh, simple. Oh, big pun. Fat Joe. Okay. Uh -huh. Mark Anthony. Ricky Martin. No bueno. Uh -uh. See, basically the whole terror squad can say it. But not Menuda. Agree. All right, so you guys just saw that skit. So again, like I was saying on Instagram, nobody would ever call Ricky Martin or Mark Anthony, you know what I'm saying, a black man or consider them, you know, my nigga. Nobody would do that. But then when it comes to the Fat Joes, they look at him like he's black and they consider him a nigga, even though he's the same admixture as Ricky Martin and Mark Anthony. They're all Puerto Ricans. And guess who else is a Puerto Rican? Gina Rodriguez, okay? Now she's a lighter Puerto Rican, but she's still Puerto Rican nonetheless. So my thing is this. The hypocrisy has to stop. We can't say that it's okay for Fat Joe to use the word nigga and Fat Joe's black, but then people like Gina Rodriguez, who are the same mixture as Fat Joe, they can't use it. Jennifer Lopez can't use it. Even Sean Stockton, you can always count on a black man, especially a dark-skinned black man, honey, to come caping. Even he's saying that she's allowed to say it and he considers her black. Y'all go ahead and check out this interview that he did with TMZ this morning. Check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. People are upset. She's apologizing. Should she get a break? Well, or, you know, here's, here's my thing. Like, well, she was singing a song. And if you're going to sing a song, make sure that you censor yourself. We can all censor ourselves as we're singing. <laughs> we rap. do it all the time. We do it all the time. But as far as I'm concerned, she's Latina, right? Yeah. Latina, black. <laughs> like a, lot, a, lot, a lot of people right. don't. 
she's maybe Puerto Rican. Acknowledge that. Yeah, she's, Puerto Puerto she's black. This okay. bitch, she's from a, a, a she's from Puerto Rico. Like Puerto Ricans, uh, Cubans, yeah. Dominicans, Mexicans. Believe it or not, they all we all we all here. Like so, just look at the history. So do 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 we give do we give her a pass of yes. forgiveness? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Easy. Yeah. Wow. She's cool. She's Latina. She's Latino. Lat Latin people. If you go to Puerto Rico right now, there are people that are dis my shade right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right now. Yeah. So let's uh, the the young lady. Um, she's in love and hip hop. What the Afro? Okay. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, uh, Amara. Lenek, uh, Lenek, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you understand? I mean, G, but so, the, so, people so are like, yo, is, Gina don't look like that, though. Okay, you know? but she still got the G. Okay. <laughs> so give her, let's give her a pass. Yeah, Puerto Ricans, Latinos, y'all black. So just know that. Well, I Honey. All right. So again, that is proof right there that a lot of black folks, particularly black men, will consider Puerto Ricans as black too. Even on the reunion yesterday when OG was going back and forth with Evelyn and she was saying she doesn't like the fact that Evelyn keeps using the N word. And guess who ran out his way to cape for Evelyn? Mark Lamont Hill, who's a college professor, and he's saying, oh, Evelyn's black, she's Puerto Rican. But I think it's a blatant slap in the face when someone who's not black says it. Evelyn is, is Afro-Latina. Uh, again, okay. she's not Afro-Latina. She's Thank never you. claimed it. Evelyn has Thank been you. on this show for eight years and never talked about Puerto Rico until last year when I was talking about Nigeria. And I found it very she interesting serious? that she went on this Puerto Rican parade and wanted to find her ancestors. ancestries. But I think, Excuse can me. I talk? Um, wow. <laughs> she don't even speak Spanish. That's I weird. I do speak oh Spanish, God. pendeja. Porque uh, We're going to cambiar la conversación. So if Evelyn Lozada is black in a lot of people's eyes and Cardi B's black in a lot of people's eyes, then why can't Gina Rodriguez say nigga? Like, do y'all see the hypocrisy? In one breath, y'all would say these Puerto Rican people are black. They're black just like me. Just, you know, a little bit lighter, looser curls, but they're black too. But then in the same breath, when it's something that y'all don't like, now all of a sudden they're not black. Well, she's Puerto Rican just like Evelyn Lozada's Puerto Rican. So if Evelyn Lozada can keep using the N word because she's from New York and shit, why can't Gina? Now what I did learn is that some of the backlash that Gina Rodriguez is facing because some women feel like she has like an anti-black sediment that she tries to divide herself from black women, which is not shocking. A lot of Latino women do this, okay? Lala Anthony used to scream from the rooftops that she's Puerto Rican and that it's different from, you know, average black or African-American women. So this is nothing new. They love to bounce on black peen and will even have half black children, but they really don't want to associate themselves with black women. And I'm not saying all Latinas, you know what I'm saying? But especially the ones who are celebrities, they tend to always differentiate themselves from black women. Oh no, I'm Dominican. Oh no, I'm Puerto Rican. Like, let's, let's not get that twist and act like that doesn't happen, okay? So a lot of people say that Gina has a lot of anti-blackness to her and um, people were really pissed off because back in 2018, her and Yara Shahidi were doing an interview for Smallfoot and the interviewer says, you know, Yara, you're such an inspiration to, you know, a lot of black women, a lot of black girls. And she interrupts and says, no, all women. So it's like she tries to pull an all lives matter when the interviewer is trying to give um, Yara Shahidi props for being a representation and a role model to um, the black community. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch this clip. You are just goals for so many young black <laughs> women who just look for up more, to so you. So many women. So many women. women. Yeah, for yeah. women too. But yeah. for black women, we need people on a whole nother level how does that feel for you to be so young and just be all right so you guys just watch that clip so that particular clip rubbed a lot of people the wrong way and like i said she tried to all lives matter this situation but let's keep it real if we really want to go there yara shahidi even though phenotypically she does look more black she, you know she's biracial her father is like middle eastern arabic and her mother is african-american so she also comes from a multi-racial background as well but obviously, phenotypically, she sees herself as more black than she does, you know, Arabic or anything like that. 
So I think this whole situation at this point is just getting ridiculous and it's becoming very, very hypocritical as to who can use this word and who can, especially when it comes to the Latin community. You have Sean Stockton basically saying that she's she's black, she's just as black as he is, so she can use it. Uh, Fat Joe can use it. Then you have other people saying that she can't and J-Lo can't. So that's the problem. You can't in one breath want to claim everybody under the sun is black. If you have one drop in you, you're black. And then in the same breath, try to basically regulate the words that come out their mouth and say, well, they can't use the N word. They can't say nigga, but they're black. It just doesn't make any damn sense. And that's why I don't take social media seriously, nor the fake outrage seriously. I see it as a bunch of hypocritical bullshit. Because like I said, just two weeks ago, y'all were praising Fat Joe. He was, you know, the, the black king, you know what I'm saying, for the day. Because he actually acknowledged his African ancestry. But my thing is, who gives a shit? He's only acknowledging it so that way he can use the N-word. Like, let, let's keep it real and let's stop playing semantics, okay? People love to claim, you know, blackness when it comes to them being able to use that word. But in other situations, are they really doing stuff to help the black community? Or are they more for their own community, which is Puerto Rican, which is Dominican, you know, things like that. So those are the things I look at. All that, well, yeah, I got some black ancestry in me. Okay, that's fine. And... But what are you doing to help and better the black community? That's what people should be asking. You know, as far as her saying the N-word, I just don't care because y'all gave 6 9 a pass and he has no black in him, okay? Stupid. So person, I don't care about her singing the song and saying the N-word. And if I was her person, I wouldn't have apologized. She's only apologizing so that way, you know, her career doesn't face any more backlash. But let's keep it real. She's a Puerto Rican woman who grew up in New York. This is how a lot of New Yorkers talk, okay? Like I said in previous videos, I know Latinos from New York who say nigga more than full black people in New York, okay? It's like you go to any uh, neighborhood in the Bronx and you see a bunch of Puerto Ricans or Dominicans or anything, nigga, 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 nigga all day. But you'll see black people in those same neighborhoods and they don't even drop the N-word like that. You know what I'm saying? So trust me, she's just not saying this because, oh, I sung a song and it just happened to slip out. That's in her vocabulary. That's how they talk. That's how a lot of Puerto Ricans in New York get down. That's how they speak. You know what I'm saying? They want to see themselves as black when it comes to using that word. When it comes to like, you know, the social aspect of it and, you know, standing with the black community, then I'm Latina, I'm Puerto Rican, y'all over here, we are over there and that's the part I don't respect so that's my opinion on the situation I feel like this is a lot of fake ass outrage I'm not buying it if y'all gonna co-sign Fat Joe using the n-word and other Puerto Ricans she's honestly the same admixture as a Fat Joe okay when I look at Fat Joe I don't see a black man I see a racially ambiguous man but again that's me okay I go off of people's phenotypes not necessarily what they are mixed with okay so to me I don't see a black man when I see Fat Joe I don't see a black woman when I see Gina Rodriguez I just don't but since everybody wants to claim all these people is black so be it have fun saying the n-word Gina we know you're not gonna do it again in public because of the backlash but I know damn well you're still saying the damn n-word bitch you're not fooling me okay anyways I'm done with my rant let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire sticky situation honey once again concerning Gina Rodriguez singing and having the audacity to say the N-word and people getting mad at her, giving her backlash. But just two weeks ago, they were praising Fat Joe and saying that he was black and he's allowed to say the N-word. So do you believe that there's just this is nothing but hypocrisy? That if we're going to say that Fat Joe is black and Evelyn Lozada is black and they can say the N-word, then there should be no difference between Gina Rodriguez saying the N-word or Ricky Martin or whoever else. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.